क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिस इज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट चैप्टर्स फेवरेट टॉपिक्स दैट इज प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन्स प्लीज नोट एज लॉन्ग इज द लाइन स्टेज इन दी फर्स्ट क्वार्टर देर इज एब्सोल्यूटली नो इश्यू यूल बी एबल टू मेक इट्स प्रोजेक्शन दट इज बोथ दी फ्रंट एंड टॉप व्यू द मोमेंट लाइन और द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन्स चेंजेस क्वार्ट लेट से एंड पॉइंट ए इज इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर एंड पॉइंट बी इज इन द सेकेंड क्वार्टर और इन द फोर्थ क्वार्टर देर इज एन इश्यू पीपल फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू विजुअलाइज इट इन साइड देयर हेड बट आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज अ टेम्पलेट विच यू कैन फॉलो एंड ईजिली मेक द प्रोजेक्शन ओके डज नॉट मैटर विदर यू आर एबल टू थिंक अबाउट द पोजिशनिंग ऑफ द लाइन इन थ्री डी और नॉट यू स्टिल वुड बी एबल टू ड्रॉ इट्स प्रोजेक्शन सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सुपर सुपर इंटरेस्टिंग ओके एंड देर आर मेनी मोर सच प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस केस इट्स 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 समथिंग लाइक दिस द एंड पॉइंट पी is in the hp and at a distance of 25 mm from vp whereas this end point q is in the vp and 50 mm below vp okay uh, you must have seen this kind of a quadrant the two dimensional coordinate system in your school <coughs> isn't it uh this basically is a three dimensional coordinate system and it's it's a lot of fun here we go i think it would be better if we start by reading the question and uh, let me just open the slide <coughs> where is it yeah for 15 marks one end p of a line pq is in hp and 25 mm in front of vp okay in the hp and 25 mm in front of vp fine while the other end q is in vp and 50 mm below hp it is in the vp and 50 mm below hp case of fourth quarter draw projections of line pq find its inclinations with hp and vp that means theta and phi both have to be calculated if the true length of the line is 70 mm wonderful so uh, we are going to initially write down all the data which have been given in the problem so first of all let us talk about end point p where is it lying sir it is in the hp and how far is it from the vp sir it is 25 mm in front of the vp so the point happens to be a case of the first quarter okay so uh, you all know distance from hp is represented by h whereas distance from vp is represented by d if you are not aware of these notations go ahead and watch my videos on projection of points they are going to help you a lot if this is the case then it is a clear cut case of a line being in the first quadrant and when i say first quadrant h above d below that means front view above top view below p dash and p this is how things are going to span out okay this is going to be basically the xy line <coughs> second end point q it is in the vp if it is in the vp what is its distance from the vp so its distance is obviously going to be zero that means d is going to be zero for point q okay and it is 50 mm below hp so i have written that down no problem Let's try to visualize this point it is a clear cut case of fourth quadrant okay and if it is fourth quadrant then h and d both of them will be below the xy line front and top view both are below the xy line so is q dash and q right this is going to be our representation for point q so far so good <clears throat> the third thing is we need to work out theta phi if the true length of pq is 70 mm so i have written that down as well okay <clears throat> time to visualize the problem in 3d and this is going to be very interesting this card here we go where is the ओके दैट्स माय ऑटो कैट फाइल भाई मच्छर कहां से आ गए हां जी टेक अ लुक इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी स्टे आउट ऑफ द वे हम आ ओ टेक अ लुक दिस इज द लाइन पॉइंट पी इज इन द एचपी एंड 25 मिलीमीटर इन फ्रंट ऑफ द वीपी टेक अ लुक एंड दिस इज पॉइंट क्यू in the vertical plane and 50 mm below if you want to take a look at it from this side so this is point p 25 in front and in the hp this is point q in the vp and 25 mm below the hp so this is how the line is positioned what we need to do is we need to make its projections and uh, also we will be calculating the angles the line makes both with hp and p um <clears throat> if you want to take a look how the projectors would 
लुक ठीक है लुक बहुत सारे लुक हो गए एनीवे तो जस्ट जस्ट सी हियर दिस इज पॉइंट बी व्हेन यू ऑब्जर्व इट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट दिस इज इट्स प्रोजेक्शन ओके सिंस इट इज ऑन द एचपी therefore the front view is going to lie on the xy line you can see that second uh, <clears throat> the top view is always formed on the horizontal plane and you can see when you look at it from the top this is the top view so that is for point p as far as point q is concerned point q's front view front view you know very well it is uh, a case of vertical plane so it is right yeah and as far as top view is concerned you just need to look at it from the top this way and you have to project it on the horizontal plane that's how you see it this is going to be q now uh, the interesting thing is when you join p dash with q dash this is what you see okay the line in green represents the final front view which apparently makes a angle alpha with the xy line secondly the top view when you p connect uh, when you connect p with q that is going to be your top view and this is how it would look the one in this aqua color or cyan okay are we good to go so this is how the <coughs> actual arrangement is and i am very much sure even after watching this arrangement of the line in 3d most of the students would fail to create its projections on a plain sheet of paper that's a fact it's a complicated question but with the help of the template we are going to find an easy way out okay so i want all of you to focus absolute attention for the next 5 minutes and we are going to crack it very very easily and there are similar problems um <clears throat> that could be made constructed uh, in different quadrants so it's very important that you have a thorough understanding of th such things take a look now <clears throat> take a look please remember point p in the hp 25 in front of vp h and d given point q in the vp and 50 mm below hp true length is given to us okay <clears throat> all right so this is something that i have already discussed in my lectures long time back okay the ones who are following this channel <laughs> A lot of students have even passed, right? Students who were initially connected to me via YouTube have now connected to me by LinkedIn. So uh, they are working in MNCs, and I mean they are doing pretty good in their life. I wish them all the all the best. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> this is something that I am going to provide in my notes also. Don't worry. Okay. Just take a look. Please remember this template. If you want, you can take a screenshot. now uh, in our problem our line is named as or represented by pq so wherever there is a there is p where there, there is b where there is q please remember let me zoom in slightly it's very important that you note all of these things this is the locus of b in front view whatever there is in the vertical plane it's front view whatever there is in the horizontal plane it's all about the top view okay this is locus of a or in our case it is p locus of p in top view this is locus of uh, q in top view please remember okay this is the true length a dash b1 dash right that is p dash q1 dash is the true length. similarly p q2 is the true length p dash q dash this is the final front view p q is the final top view this is what we want p dash q dash and p q final front and final top views apart from this p dash q1 dash is also very important to us because it will help us calculate this value of theta so watch this video very very carefully we are going to start by first of all drawing the projections of point p point p's front view is on the xy line h is 0 you know that very well so here it's point p dash top view d is below 25 below go ahead and join it okay so this this eventually becomes locus of p in front view locus of p in top view sir how far is the projector of q from p i don't know okay and i don't give a damn either what i am going to do now we know very well that q is when you look at it from the front okay uh, q is 50 mm below the hp isn't it the front view of q will be 50 mm below hp so 50 mm below simply make a line this is where 
the front view of q is going to lie where is the exact location we are yet to figure out don't worry so i have written locus of q in front view okay please make this is very important if you if you write locus of q in top view sab gadbad ho jayega right nothing will fall in place and <clears throat> you know very well that q q is a point in the vertical plane if it is a point in the vertical plane that means d is equal to 0 okay which essentially means its top view is going to lie in the on the xy line so its top view is going to be somewhere here locus of q and top view is here i don't know the location where but somewhere here along this line okay so far so good what is the next thing that you will do sir let's refer to this template and let's crack the true length true length is 70 mm how can you get the true length with theta immediately we can get that what you need to do is let's take a look take a look this is the true length okay locus of q in front view so what you can do is you can take p dash as the center listen to what i say maybe you need to watch the videos two to three times i am not going to be repeating take p dash and center and cut an arc arc of arc of 70 mm that is the true length okay on the locus of q in front view right with p dash as center put an arc of radius 70 mm on the locus of q in front view let me do that with p dash as center right and on the locus of q in front view you need to put an arc of 70 mm done here we go this is q1 dash connect that's the true length true length and this by the way you guys can calculate do the measurement this is theta i'll write the answers over here when the complete projection finishes that's the first thing second thing you can do refer to this template again now with p as center and with 70 mm as radius you need to cut another arc this is going to help you get the q2 okay with ps center and with radius as 70 mm cut an arc again on the locus of q in top view where on the locus of q in top view okay so with ps center cut an arc again on the locus of q in top view this arc is having a radius of 70 mm as a join this by the way is your angle you can do the measurement using a protractor now what sir now <clears throat> comes the time where we are going to refer to this template again so we have access to q1 dash we have access to q2 yes okay so from q1 dash you need to drop a perpendicular until it reaches the locus of p in top view until it reaches from q1 dash you need to drop a line a produce a line a vertical line until it intersects the locus of p in top view from q1 dash you need to produce a line until it intersects the locus of p in top view here it is this is q1 now again refer to the template so we have basically reached here okay and now with this much as the radius i am going to rotate with respect to p as the center until it intersects the locus of q in top view rotate until it intersects the locus of q in top view rotate until it intersects the locus of q in top view locus of q in top view right this is point q connect q with p this is your final front view and this angle right here is what is known as no 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 this is your final top view no dash okay final top view and this angle over here is what is represented as or represented by beta done okay so far so good you can also project it downwards like this p dash and p are on a same uh, vertical line in the same fashion if this is q this has got to be q dash okay there is another way also what you can do is <clears throat> listen take a look at b2 that is q2 produce q2 until it intersects listen to what i say produce q2 until it intersects the locus of p in front view produce q2 until it intersects the locus of p in front view here we go produce q2 until it intersects where downward or upward 
under it intersects the locus of p in front view so p locus of p in front view is here where are you going to produce it above below no it is right here on the same word on the same horizontal line so uh, q2 dash is going to be here okay like q2 and this is q2 dash hmm? here it is on that same horizontal line now things are going to become very easy for you what you need to do is what you need to do is you need to take this much as the radius in your compass and then rotate until it intersects the locus of q in front view this way okay until it intersects the locus of q in front view here it is locus of q in front view and that's q dash connect q dash with p dash and this basically connect this is the final front view the ones in red final top view this red final front view this is true length uh, with angle phi this is true length with angle uh, theta right all the values have been mentioned over here i'm sure you all can crack this easy there is a method to this madness let me tell you very honestly uh, <clears throat> there i mean it's good if you try to think about this problem in 3d but i believe that there is a problem i mean there is an issue everybody cannot think of a line in 3d it is difficult when this is the case you can use such methods use the template and crack the problem 